Over the last year and a half, 46 people have died from overdoses in the Sioux Falls area, mostly due to fentanyl poisoning. 29-year-old Alex Collar was among them, but Alex is much more than a statistic. He was an athlete, talented musician, and had a winning personality. Tonight, his parents are sharing the story of his tragic death with Kelloland's Angela Kennecke in order to raise awareness of just how prevalent and dangerous fentanyl is. He played by ear, and you can't believe some of the stuff he'd come up with. He loved music. He was sweet. He was our boy that always checked in on us constantly. Alex Collar's parents want him to be remembered for more than his addiction. Tom and Anita, who goes by Petey, lost their 29-year-old son in April to fentanyl poisoning. The couple was on vacation in Florida at the time. And we got the phone call there, um, and it makes me so sad that he was by himself when he died. And it's just, addiction is just so ugly. Alex had been through treatment a couple of times and had served two stints in prison for drugs. His parents say it was a 12 year roller coaster ride that started when he was 17. When he was down and out, didn't have any money. You know, as a parent, you, you're such, you don't want to make him homeless, but you, you, give, you give too much and you feel like an enabler, and it's just a hard, hard road. Before his death, they had put Alex up in a motel for 10 days so they could take their trip, knowing he had a safe place to stay. Alex bought pills that his parents later learned were from Mexico, which contained the deadly synthetic opioid fentanyl. He got pills, and we know he got 12, and there was still 10 left. He did not want to die. The detectives made that very clear. The callers are speaking out about their son's fentanyl poisoning death because they know how common it has become. It's poison. I think we got to do something about it. There's so many people dying. Alex lost friends to overdose and had called fentanyl evil. Yet he didn't have fentanyl testing strips, which would have told him the pills he bought were laced. If it saves one person, it was a great deal. But I could see it probably could save a lot of them. Fentanyl testing strips are cheap and easy to use. However, as our Kevilland News investigation discovered, it's actually illegal to have them in South Dakota. We will take a look at the law and the effort underway to change that tonight on Kevil Van News at 10. The callers say they've had tremendous support from their small community in Parker. The DCI is assisting Sioux Falls police in investigating who sold the laced pills to Alex, but no one has been arrested.